This week I got two emails, one from Mrs. Gilman who sent me these printouts of these Bible verses and another from a student asking for inspirational Bible verses. And it really got me thinking about what verse inspires you and what verse can really give us this peace that casts out fear. It's all about Jesus and his perfect love for us. Here's what my students have to say. The reason that this verse inspires me is because we are in a time right now that we don't really know what's going on. And we need to trust in the Lord, just know that he knows what he's doing. We need to put everything into God's hands because we don't have control over the situation. This verse is really inspiring as it perfectly summarizes God's call to us to be devoted to him. I especially relate to this verse in times of trouble. It reminds us to keep the faith in him. Blessed is he who trusts in the Lord. The Lord loves us all, and we are blessed by his Son who died on the cross. So I chose the Romans 12, 12 verse because I think that in such a trying time where everybody's going through so many different emotions and experiences, it's important to know that we're all united in the same joy, patience, and faith because of Jesus Christ. So yeah, that's why I chose this verse. Proverbs 16 verse 20 inspires me a lot because the verse says, Blessed is he who trusts in the Lord. He will always be there for me. This verse inspires me because it reminds me of all the things to be thankful for, even in difficult times. It also tells me to humble myself and put my problems in the hands of God. Proverbs 16.20 is very inspiring to me. It's telling us through Jesus we are blessed and will be with him in heaven. Eternal salvation comes through Jesus. And blessed is he who trusts in the Lord. Since we trust him and know that Jesus died for us on the cross, we are all blessed. Now it's your turn. Print out one of these cards, color, and pray over this verse, and then share it with someone who could hear these encouraging words from God that he is there for us, he loves us, and he is with us.